right, everybody, we're back. You know my uh, first guest from MTV's Total Request Live and from his show, Last Call, which airs immediately following this program. On July 13th, he's going to be roasted on the MTV Bash. Please welcome our good friend, Carson Daly. <laughs> Very nice to have you here. That was hilarious. Arnold Schwarzenegger, our president. Two very, very funny people. <laughs> yeah, people we know from our Only in life. your show. Yeah. Baby's bottle. That was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'll be thinking about as I go to sleep tonight. That's frightening. He's like, baby's bottle. Those things ring in my head. Oh, the spit was just coming out of his mouth. Of the so. screen, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's disgusting. Our apologies to everyone at home. Um, what's now, happening? Uh, well, I want to ask you what's happening. Yeah. You were, you were roasted. You know, this is a long tradition where celebrities are, are roasted. It used to be a big thing, I guess, like in the 60s, and they're bringing it back now. Yeah, where they the Dean Martin roast they used to have. Right, and, uh, and I heard that you were lambasted at this roast. Like, got, that I, it was vicious. I got killed. I mean, I, I got ruined at this thing. Right. Which was, uh, which was entertaining for everybody but me. And, and do they tell you, how do they pitch it to you when they come to you and say, well, we they, want to roast what you? What they do is they make it seem like uh, they say, we have, you know, congratulations they start it with, you know, you've been selected to be honored, which, of course, is a load of crap. I mean, right, right. They, they make you feel like you've won an award or something. It's right. Like, Don't worry about it. You know, they only roast the ones they love. And, you know, so they get you going like you're going to get an award or something. Then you get there, and they have, like, every ex-girlfriend in the room. It's like everybody's worst nightmare. Right. And your ex is there. My parents were there. My mom was crying within 20 minutes. <laughs> and friends in the business are coming up, and they're just going. People probably think it's an MTV show, and it's sort of watered down, but it wasn't. I mean, it was like, it was good jabs. I was laughing. I mean... Because you kind of have to. Yeah. If I they're mean, cu they're cutting to you and you're weeping quietly, yeah, no, I mean, and like just eating some melted ice cream, that that's, doesn't. That, that's the good news is that it was it was really funny. You right. Know? It was right. it was really good. Now, in the tradition of roasts, I think the the roasted person, the roastee, gets to get up at the end yeah. and has the opportunity to, to to fight back. Did you get to do that? I did at the at the end of it, and I, I roasted them back. Just the people that were were bashing me. Who was bashing you uh, that you got back? Uh. A lot of them. Jennifer Love Hewitt, one of my ex-girlfriends. Right. I, I think I, I might have hurt her feelings with what I said. I didn't know what they were going to do to me. So was she was harsh to you? Was she harsh to you? Very. Yeah. Uh, she was reading these love letters that I had written her, and it was embarrassing. Pri Wait a minute. She, she read private love letters? Yeah. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That seems like that's going over the line. And then she brought out this this kid that she said was our illegitimate child that we had had. <laughs> Oh, that's just the beginning. I mean, you have no idea. That's that the nice the tame part. Stuff. That's the yeah. tame stuff, right? Yeah. So. Uh, and so, I, what did you do to her? I, I, I can't say what I did to her, just because it, it's probably it's my only good line. So if anyone's gonna watch the show, they gotta watch it. But, okay. Okay. Uh, Britney Spears was there. I can tell you that. And what did you say to Britney Spears? Britney. Uh, well, first of all, Eminem opens the show. If there's anybody you don't want, you know, bashing you, it's Eminem. <laughs> that's I hear how he, the show opens. I hear he's M a very 50. kindly fellow. Yeah, I think I left him alone very wisely. Uh -huh. I don't need to be in another verse of one of his songs. Right. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think. Been there, done that. It's also, you don't want to start, like, the, the, the making fun of people in good fun, I don't think extends to rappers. Yeah, no, no. Do well, not I mean? I don't think of all people. Exactly, He yeah. has, like, an exemption. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Right. Uh, but Brittany, she opened the show, and, and she went after me. She said some funny stuff, and I think I said at the end when I came up to her, and Fred Durst was also there, and I started by saying, uh, uh, Brittany, you know, you're so busy. It's, it's so great to see you and Fred here together tonight. I'm sure you'll deny this happened, too. And, right, right. Uh, <laughs> And then I said, uh, you know, Brittany, um, you know, uh, on behalf of everybody that plays your music, I just want to say uh, thanks for the <laughs> jobs. <laughs> this is a, so this is a show for the whole family. Yeah. It's pretty much the this idea. This is how it went down. This I mean, is kind this of, is, that's great. And then next, actually, Madonna bashed me. And so right after that, I said, and, and Madonna, same thing. That's always good. Yeah. Remember that, that crappy thing I said to her? Yeah, you yeah, too. You too, yeah. exactly. <laughs> It was bad. Like, it was really... My, they put my parents at a table, which was right... And this is a big room, and I've got some of my buddies, you know. But in the old roast, in the traditional roast, they usually have, like, your friends right there with you, you know. Right, so as right. you're getting roasted, you're like, you know, you have some support. Right. I was in, like, the hot seat in the middle of the stage, and just people were parading out and, and just just going right at me. I mean, right, right. Nelly was great. I mean, he was, he was very, very funny. I didn't think he would be, but he was. That's what surprised me. Right. Is that the real comedians... You know, like Jeff Ross is a very funny guy, and Sarah Silverman, these people. But uh, yeah, Nelly, who knew he could? He blew the room oh, away. Oh my Nelly. God, he was hilarious. 
Now, uh, I'm, I'm curious, did you learn anything from this, Rose? Is there anything you took away from this? Did you learn any essential life lessons that you the know, rest of us yeah. can take with us when we're roasted someday on MTV? Right. <laughs> One thing I really learned is that, you know, prior to this, I actually kind of thought I was a pretty cool guy, and now I realize I am a complete douchebag. Right, you're just you're <laughs> sitting there. I've accepted you're, it now. Like you're sitting there like... Thank you. It's like starting anew. Like, Jimmy Fallon's right. I am a tool. I'll yeah. celebrate my tool. I think I got some tool award that night. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was good. Now, uh, I'm curious, did your, and your parents are okay? Did they get over it? Were no, they... well, some of these celebrities are, you know, are, are good friends of mine. My mom's not talking to, like, half of them, you know? She, she was very, very upset. Was she talking to Nelly much before? I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. My mom has a two-way, and I was just riding around constantly. in a Humvee with Nelly, yeah. and... My mom wrote half of Hot in here, I think. Actually. Really? Yeah, very they're, nice. They're tight. She, they hang out. She should get a credit. Uh, now, MTV is promoting uh, this show like crazy. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they, when they promote something, these, these cable networks, they go insane. Right. It's Especially not like MTV. that on network. On right. network, you're lucky if you get a little tiny, <laughs> a little something, a little something, something. But anyway... <laughs> Every now and then, a little crouton for Conan, a little tight crouton for Conan. Yeah. <laughs> you, I'm on, I'm on in like an hour yeah. from now. Oh, geez. Yeah. You're the well. only person that mentions us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, by the way. Well, I like to mention that. you every now and then. By the way, coming up at 1.30, um, <laughs> <laughs> who's up this late? Anyway, uh, no, apparently a lot of people are. Uh, Over for your show, yeah. No, absolutely. 40 million Americans watch both of us. It's wow, incredible. That's right. No one's going to look that up. Um, <laughs> did you. <laughs> well, they're promoting this show, and they're actually... I, I heard that they're, like, manufacturing products to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they, uh, after we shot the show in L.A., I, I got a message from them today. They wanted me to sort of approve this, but I thought it was a great idea. They, they, they wanted to do the sort of guerrilla-style promotion where they would roll out in New York, L.A., and Chicago, and what they wanted to do was take this, uh, this sort of plate. It had my face on it. It said MTV Bash. It was, you know, this Sunday, July the 13th or whatever. And it's got your face. And it's got my face on it, and they, and they say, and we're going to put it in... Uh, all bars in all the men's rooms for guys to pee on. It's a urinal cake? It's a urinal. It's a urinal, like, mat. Oh, it's a urinal mat. Yeah. So now, I think they're out. Maybe if you're out at a bar right now, take a piss on me and get it over with. Yeah. You know? So, that's such a... That would be such a harsh... And it's just like the bash wasn't bad enough. You know? Bit, yeah. Like, An I, actual urinal screen. I must have the correct term before this... Some, what would you call it? I think urinal mat. You I, know, like, I think well, urinal sieve. A sieve? <laughs> let's think about this for yeah, half an let's... hour. It'll be the weirdest television of all let's time. Let's bring the president back. He yeah, might know. let's bring Arnold in here to tell us exactly what. <laughs> no, he's called a urinal. <laughs> um, so that's yeah. So well, you should make sure you get one of those because that's something you're going to want to give to your grandchildren yeah. someday. Yeah, exactly. Here's a urinal sieve. That's urinal mat, granddad. That's um, kind of the whole idea of the behind the bash, and that's why I liked it a lot. You know, it was because it was it was all in good fun, and a lot of people did turn out, and it was real, which was great for MTV because we tend to sort right. of water stuff down. Right. Um, and and that's when it was very blue. And, uh, and it was kind of good, because there's a lot of guys, you know, or people especially well, you got that know big me names. for TRL. Exactly. And, so this is like, yeah. you know, kind of a cleansing. We can kind of start a new relationship now <laughs> in the American <laughs> now audience. That, yeah, now that you've now purged, that, and you peed purged on. all this, exactly. Now, I want to ask you, because we're, we're almost out of time, but i got to ask you about this. Every day I pick up the newspaper, uh, yeah. I read about you. Yeah. You're in the tabloids constantly. You're in the gossip columns. Um, you, uh, you know, you're everywhere. What's the story? I don't know what the deal is. I, I, you know, we just had July 4th. I was out, you know, in the Hamptons. and mm -hmm. you, know, you go out a lot. You go to a lot of parties. I, that's the thing. I really don't, actually. I don't You've go got out. to. Every time I pick up the paper, they say, you're at they this just, party, anything, you're at that party. Well, anything that, that Tara, my ex-fiance, if she's involved, and she's, I don't, you know, she's in it quite a bit, um, anything with her, they have to sort of drag me into it. So even if you're not at a party that Tara reads at, they have to say that somehow that you were there, they you had, were nearby lurking. That's what just happened this week, and they had, it ran like today or yesterday, and it said, uh, you know, Tara and Carson sort of near miss thing. You know, uh, Tara was out on a boat in the Hamptons, and Carson was at a boat, and he was invited to the party on her boat, and he didn't go to her boat because, uh, and it was in quotes that I said this, I would go to her party if they threw her overboard. Right. <laughs> and it's in quotes. It's in quotes like you said yeah. that. I mean, I've been thinking that, but I sure as hell didn't say nothing. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, but it's sad. It's sad. Right, you know, right. Because, like, 
I didn't say that. And, you know, and it was like a puppy's party. They said the cops came because Carson's friends couldn't get in. I'm like, I'm never going to go out again. You know what I'm See, saying? See, I'm never I'm drink privately I'm at home. Something. I'm never linked to Puffy's party. Never, ever right. linked. Because I think people, if people said, like, Puffy had a party and Conan O'Brien was there, no, the whitest cool. man in America. No, 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 that would not be cool. Yeah, sure. People would say, like, what the hell was, uh, you know, uh, what was that guy doing there? Why was Bob's big boy hanging out at Puffy's <laughs> party? <laughs> That's not true. Hi, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's no party. You drink the Cristal. I would drink the Cristal. That's what he does. He passes out. And then out get very Cristal. sick. Does he pass out Cristal? Yeah, it's crazy. I've got to hang with rappers. Yeah. <laughs> when am I going to get a urinal cake? <laughs> uh. All right. Um, MTV Bash airs Sunday night at 9. Yeah. And congratulations, last call. I uh, just got picked up, like, like oh, it wouldn't. It's you. doing so great. Wow. But it got, just got picked up for a uh, third season. Time, I can't believe it's been, I know, it's it, this crazy. is the third season now. I know. It goes really fast. Well, we've done well. I mean, we have the best lead in, in the business. Please. And thank you for And we all have Jay and before him the whole NBC lineup. It's good. <laughs> See? My soul left me a long time yeah, ago. Hey, Carson, congratulations so on doing thank such you. a good job. Thanks Carson so Daly, Jennifer Cool is coming. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Everybody, uh...